Hello everyone, my name is Legend Rani and this is H2 Definitive Edition. This is an upgraded version of the old H2 that we were playing two decades ago. Very, very nice game. I actually enjoy it. I'm playing it every day since I bought it. So I'm going to play a game and I'm going to show you guys how exactly the game is. Plenty of options that you can choose from. Historical battles, art of war. Um, campaigns, multiplayer or standard game whichever you choose it's over there now i'm gonna play a standard game against an ai i actually did beat on difficulty hard and i did fought against hardest as well and i have to say that it is hardest i fought for like four hours on the same map it was pretty crazy i'm just gonna go with moderate i don't want the video to be very very long population you can choose the population you want. Gain speed, I suggest to go with normal. I'm playing with fast because I know what I'm doing. Treaty lane, this is an option. You can set none, five minutes, 10 minutes. That means that you are at peace for half an hour and only after that uh, you will battle. I can set to none, it's fine. I don't really need a uh, treaty land. Record games, full tech tree, turbo mode, Plenty, plenty of options and possibility you can go with. Game mode is random map. It's automatically generated by, by the game. I recommend going with the Black Forest. Because usually on the Black Forest is just one point uh, where the AI can come from. And the reason I'm saying that is because pretty much the AI controls much better the units than any player will ever do. So for that reason, I suggest that you should go with the Black Forest. Map size, giant. I can go large or eight players or medium. It's going to be much smaller. And I'm going to go with the Britons. Another tip I can give you is the technology tree. This is the best way where you can see what type of units each civilization has. And the most specific or special thing about each civilization is when you check the castle units. Longbowmen and elite longbowmen on the Britons. And another thing would be is the crowns. This is research. Foot archers have one range, towers have two attack, improve trebuchets by giving them blast damage pretty nice and the elite longbow one once you have the max upgraded they have like 12 range that's insanely high they also got have a good technology for defending against ai you definitely need this and rest is pretty much normal <clears throat> you want to see my strategy that i use with the britons i don't even use cavalry with britons all I, all I use is militia when they are maxed out, champions, they are beasts, and um, they are special unit, daily longbowmen, plus some troubleshoots, and that's about it. Right, let's go into the game. You can notice the amount of civilizations there are, so you can pretty much choose every civilization to see the units, technologies, and what they have available. Let's get started. <laughs> so he's with Saracens. Now, honestly, I don't remember how the Sa Saracens were exactly, but I think they don't. They don't need houses. Again, I'm not hundred percent sure. Ah, that's how I recall it is. Also with your scout, what you can do is you can pretty much guide this where to go, but I find it really hard and especially at the beginning, it, it buys too much of your time. So as far as I can see, this is pretty much the choke point between me and him. You're noticing on the map, or I can do this 
and this, but it might be a little bit too much. I'm just gonna do it here. I think it's, it's gonna be much, much better. I chose the map to be revealed. Because, you know, you play against AI, so... Training villagers. This is... This is probably one of the most important part. Lambs for slaughter. <laughs> In between, so I can do the bars. How much do I have? Wild boar, 314. Food, that's quite a lot of food. Definitely don't miss that. And I think you also need to kill them specifically with villages, otherwise, you might not, not be able to collect the food. These are the resources, food, wood, um, gold and stone, you're, you're noticing them on the top. Uh, there, there is going to be a marketplace at some point, wish we had that in Rise of Kingdoms. Uh, where you can literally... Where you can literally trade in your food and wood for... Uh, gold and with gold you can buy any other resources which is um, pretty interesting future to be honest <clears throat> this is what makes this particular map black forest so uh, popular because you pretty much have enough wood and you can generate enough food to have for as long as you want and then you just uh, give it away for uh, for gold to train, you know, high-end units and... Now let's go... Hunter! Hunter! Oh... Hunter! Wolves don't get food. <laughs> they take your food. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna build another one. And with that boar, I'll probably probably be able to get where I want to. Three hundred and forty food from one board. That's that's pretty sweet. Ready. 
There we go. Look at that. Look at the foot going in. Hunter. 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 And let's advance to feudal age. AI already advanced to feudal age. Oof. What am I doing? Slacking. This is not permitted. This is not happening. This is part of. <laughs> Yay. Hunter. Hunter. Are you sure? I say so. Greeting. Yay, hunter. Ready, hunter. Mandatum, hunter. Greeting. And. Bolden. Mandatum, bolden. Ready, bolden. Yay, bolden. Greeting. Bolden. Yay, bolden. Mandatum. Probably not the best. Bolden place but it worked you have to do the upgrades especially for the resources it's probably the one of the most important upgrades you have to do at the beginning so they gather faster they you know they build faster and also very important the next step would also be very important to advance the castle age because advancing with the castle age allows you to build more town center meaning that you can build more villages faster Yay. and I need to build houses again Ready. You can find the hotkeys when you when you press on the building when you select or when you press off the building it's the hotkeys over there. And we need the marketplace. Bolden, bolden. And power up. Ready. Mandatum. Go with him. Don't let him feel alone. I can easily advance with the castle age once I build these two buildings. Wild boar. Yay. Correct, William. Hold him. Greet him. Yay. Hold him. Oh. Ready. Correct. Go. Chopper. Greet him. Chopper. Yay. Chopper. Chopper. Get into the chopper. 
So here it is the marketplace where you can sell stuff and buy stuff. Pretty neat. You can sell the three primary resources. The food. The wood and the stone. Ready. Who's lacking? Make sure. No, he's here. The enemy. Jump on him. Not enough food. No, there's two of them. I hate this, and he's gonna die. And now we need a university and we need a monastery, but first university. <laughs> The relic generates gold per turn, or I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, generates gold. Hold him. Hold him. 
Fold him. Fold him. Fold him. Ready. Okay. Greet him. Kill. Correct. Fold him. Okay. Fold him. Daten, Greeten. Ich will ihn. Bitch. Yay. Yay. Correct. Bitch. So dress. Hey, cast this build. Yep, let's do it. Imperial Age. Imperial Age And there you go Build me the saw Mandatum Ready. Pitch. Mandatum. Mandatum. Greeting. Kill. Pick Willem. Pitch. Pick Willem. Siege weapons have one range except rams and cause. Mm. Me like. Ready. Pitch. I like to put them a little bit further away from each other. They kind of have a, a problem if you put them close to each other. So I just put them a little bit further away from each other. And.
chemistry. Right, how about we build some barracks as well? Yay, chopper, correct, William. Yo, yay. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Ready. Improve the trappers by giving them plus damage. Not now. Chemistry and architecture. We need that done. More view. We definitely need. are fish traps. Mandatum. Hold them. Ready. Hold them. Yay, Dick Willem. Yo. Chopper. Chopper. Out of wood? Out of wood. Elite long bomber. Let's go. How can I be out of wood? Anything else? No, versus cheap, we don't need that. Okay, let's research our champions. Oh, that's the problem with the moderate. They, they are too moderate. They haven't attacked me yet. I'm already beating him in score. Are you kidding me? But the other ones, they are, the game takes too long. That's the problem. Monks will gain their fate. Successful conversion. No? It's Five or six. The monks can heal your troops. So yeah, if you're if you're wondering. Oh, there's still a, a bit of stone there. Arms. Oh, here they come. Poor souls. Oh, these are max upgraded. Just stand ground, boys. Stand your ground. Yay. Chopper. Grayton. Ready. Yo. Yay. Fitch. Correct. Yes, Willem. 
chopper. There's nothing else I can do. Once you finish gathering everything. Chopper. Chopper. So I miss these guys. No, I'm not gonna go with siege. <clears throat> Man, they kill it too slow. Freddy, Estora, Manda, Estora. Freddy, I collect it. Dado, yay. Yay. It will. This is why I need long moments. This is why they are so good. Do these have 11? There should be enough range. Units are harder for enemy monks. Ready. 
Mein Dach. Griechen. Jut. Bogen. Mein Dach. This is why I like the. Too far away. There's no such thing. How is my champions? Oh, I haven't made it. I've upgraded the champions. Okay, this is done. I don't don't use cabs with with Britons. Okay. Hold them. I can literally go and eliminate him to be honest. <laughs> but I haven't finished the upgrade for my sportsman. Ready, yay. Correct. Hold him, yay. Hold him. Still gathering cold. Wow. Still have cold to gather on the map. That's rare. Mandatum We are done with resources, we are done with everything Oh my god <laughs> Yeah, again, no more, more moderate <laughs> You made it too easy for me Our champions. Now let's build our champions. How many we build? Five times five, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, hmm. forty. There they are, champions. Another eight. 
my god. Guys, multiplying. Let's make sure we have a... Uh... Yay? No. That's pretty much about it. Oh, population limit. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Yeah, it's, it's very easy with Britons. No! Why did you hit my trap again? I'm gonna pay for this. I lost a few archers. Down goes the castle. The reason I have the Swordsman, if you're wondering, just in case he's gonna send uh, uh, Cavalry. So if he sends Cavalry, those are, are really gonna save me. I didn't see any castles, but... Doesn't matter. The archers are doing all the work, all the leg work. <laughs> Priest, priest. Yeah, too good. But well, it's gonna resign soon. I wish I would have put last man standing. No, they killed an archer. Oh, come on. I usually put the priests with the archers. I don't care so much about the swordsmen. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> you are victorious. <laughs> he gave up. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting that uh, it's gonna be really that easy, but it was a, a little bit easy on, on moderate. Anyway, this is pretty much the game. I play with Britons because I know what I'm doing with them, and uh, you know, I wanted this to, to look good as a first impression. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below and I can also do live streams about it if you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. You can do historical battles against players as well and much more. This is Bullet General signing off. Peace out, Yo, and take care.